In this video, I'm going to be making a blood wood pen and I'm gonna be using black titanium hardware. I think this is gonna turn out really nice. Here is a piece of African paduk and then here's the piece of blood wood. It might be a little hard to tell the difference, but one thing that I noticed immediately with the blood wood is it has a tighter grain. In the paduk, there's little, almost pits in it. This is much tighter. This is looking pretty cool. The grain variation, like on the top, you can see it's a little bit more tight. I'm not exactly sure why wood does that. It's not bad, like maple does that same thing, but it's like almost tighter up here and then looser and then tightens down at the bottom. I like it. I got it down as far as I'm going to go with the tools. Now I'm going to start sanding. I'll go ahead and take out the tool rest. All right, I have this sanded down to 600 grit and it's looking nice. I did one coat uh, decently thick with thin super glue and then I did a thick coat with the thick super glue. I got it as thick as I could, I really tried to mound it up. Now I would like to go a third one, but there's a little bit like of a bubble or I think what happened was something touched it there and it kind of peeled it up a little bit. I could wait till this cures, sand that down a little bit and then do another coat or I could just wait till this cures, sand everything and then it'll probably work from there. I let the glue dry overnight and it turned out really good. The surface finish on the glue is just great. I've had it turn out a lot worse than that. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the mandrel and start, start saying. I'm gonna start lightly with some 400 grit. I'm doing some of this by hand just so I can get the high spots and the low spots. I'm doing some of this by hand just so I can focus on the high spots or the low spots. The sanding process definitely takes a really long time. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the buffing wheel and get this nice and shiny. I'll put a little bit of rouge on the wheel. So you can always put as much time as you want into this finish. I'm going to stop it here. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. And this is going to turn out really good, especially with the hardware that I'm going to be putting on. Now we'll knock off the bushings. And now we're going to sand the edges. So for this kit, I'm going to be using black titanium hardware. I've never actually used the black titanium kit, and I really like the black finish on it. Now we'll press the back piece on. Now we have all the pieces pressed in. Now we're just gonna put the ink refill and the back cap. Now we'll put our refill in. So I've got the twist mechanism in there. I'm gonna go ahead and press on the back piece. And that's finished. I'm a big fan of how the blood wood turned out, especially. It, it just matches the black titanium, and overall, this is a very nice looking pen. Blood wood definitely has a nice tight grain, but it's still sort of soft. It's easier to work with than, say, ebony. I had a lot of fun making this pen.